Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to another episode of Life with Marion and Joe. I'm way back here, who? And in today's episode, I think we're going to start uh, doing some spring Easter decorating. I think that's what you guys like best about the channel is when I do seasonal decorating, I think. Is that true? Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little uh, dining room center arrangement. Uh, we're not setting the table or anything like that. So if that's what you're here for, I'm not doing that. But I am going to do uh, some kind of arrangement down the center. So the first thing I need to do is clear out what I have here. My beautiful winter uh, snowy uh, icy branches and pine cones. Bye-bye. See you next year. Okay, so the first thing I did obviously was take the stuff off and dust the table. And aren't you glad I spared you from watching me dust with a musical interlude like everybody else does. Anyway, I'm putting this down first. Okay, just because I want it there, it offers a little bit of uh, protection and uh, we're going with that first. Um, I think I decided as of the beginning of this video because I didn't stage this before, so this is, you're really working through this right with me as my brain is working. Um, I think I'm gonna do a lot of um, like a violety, lilac, pinkish kind of thing in the dining room this year. I, did, I don't think I did that last year. I had a lot of that coloring going on in the family room, which I'm not doing this year because you know, I use a lot of the same stuff. For those of you that don't know me, I like to use stuff over and 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 over again, but I like to like just switch it up and put it in different places so that it looks different. You can simply just move something from one room to another and guess what? It looks different. Or just slap some paint on it or something like that and it's completely different and save yourself some money. So what I'm doing is here, I'm using this. It's really pretty too. It has like an iridescent kind of a leaf on it. Um, I've had it for a while. Uh, for those of you that know me, you probably recognize it because sometimes I use it at Christmas with the cherubs and stuff. Um, but I'm using it this year for spring. Okay, so let me try to arrange this the way I want it. You know, it looks, it has to look kind of like messy, like it just blew in. <laughs> but uh, obviously you know that that's not the case, right? because nothing just blows in. All right, let me flap this over because it has a different look. Guess what? This is really a curtain panel. That's what it is. And to be honest with you, you can find a lot of like curtain panels and even tablecloths uh, that you can use, not so much as a tablecloth or a curtain panel, you can use them, but you know that, right? You know that already. So I know a lot of people that watch me are very smart and you know what you're doing. And you check it to see if I know what I'm doing. Okay, so for right now, that's, I'm gonna leave that like that and I'm gonna start layering in there. Okay, so the first thing after I do this, and now I'm gonna fix that, uh, I guess, is um, I have this board that I made, and I use this from time to time um, for different holidays. And what I did was I uh, stapled some garland onto it. Now, what, what do I do this for is because I like a long centerpiece sometimes in here, so this affords me to have a long centerpiece that I can easily pick up and put away. Now. Um, for Easter, it's easier because I don't, I don't think we're going to have anybody in the dining room before Easter. And even if we have somebody on Easter, it'll be easily removed. And guess what? I don't have to put it back because Easter will be over. So um, I think it's going to be safe to use this um, throughout this time of season. So I'm going to place that right here down the center. You see how nice and flat that lays. And then what I can do is I can go in and rearrange all of this so that it has the look that I want. Now, I'm, I'm doing it right now for you and uh, for all of us that know, you know how many times you tweak stuff 
over and over and over and over. And like you, I'm no different than that. I keep tweaking and tweaking. So, but for right now, I'm gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna start here in the center and I always like something with height in the center. It just is a natural thing for me to see height in the center. Um, I thought about using a bunny. You remember what I did last year? It was cute, right? I had the three bunnies with the umbrellas and all the, the crystals that look like you know, April showers bring me flowers, but I'm not doing that this year because I did it last year, even though I was so tempted because I really liked it. But anyway, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to use uh, the birdhouse that I built last year. I'm going to see how it looks and we'll see together. All right, so I made this birdhouse last year because I was doing like, like a woodlands kind of thing and I just used some scrap wood right here. I made the box the size I wanted. I made the point. You can see it's a separated thing. I didn't go crazy. It's not, you know, fine work or anything like that. Took two boards for the roof. And then what I did was I actually um, took cardboard, a cardboard box and I made these shingles. These are just cardboard. And then I hot glued them on. And then I just brushed some beige and brown, a little bit of green to make it look like moss. And then I stenciled all around the outside, all four sides of the, the uh, birdhouse. Then I just added some moss here, some of these from the Dollar Tree, some of these from the Dollar Tree, a little bit of um, ivy. And um, I think for right now, I think, um, I think I like it here. I'm not positive, but we'll see. And then I never know if Mary Ann is going to hate it or not. Okay, so here's where we are right now. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to see how my uh, pink and violety kind of tulips um, are going to look in there. Um, I, I'm trying to think. I don't want it to look over, but... Hmm. I have some ribbon. Maybe I'm going to put some ribbon in first. Let me see that. Okay, so I have this iridescent ribbon and you can see it has like a slight pinkish tone to it. So I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to see how that looks. I'm going to try it in there off the camera so you don't have to see me do that. All right, so I only had a little bit. This is the weirdest ribbon. I have to dovetail that. This was the weirdest ribbon. It felt like a shower curtain. It's wired, but it's like, it's plastic. It's, it's absolutely crazy. I think I got it in a grab bag, uh, Michael's grab bag haul. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, so I had very little of it, uh, and I'm not going to go searching for the other one. It's probably in my pink bins, but not in the mood. Uh, so this is enough. Anyway, I don't want it to be overly ribbonized. I just have to manipulate it a little bit better. So like I said, anyway, I just put it on each side. Okay, so next in, I'm gonna put these. Um, Cause I, I like, you know, I like stuff that is like drippy and hangy. And I think I'm gonna do it on the ends. I'm just trying to see the end where you are. Um, I'm going to start down here. I think I only have like four of them, so I kind of have to use them sparingly, but I like, I think I'm going to like them, you know, like kind of just trailing off on the edge over here. I think that will look kind of like the look that I like. Something like that, you know? I know you can't see it great. I'll show you close up in a second. Let me get the other side done though first. All right, so I just kind of like put them in the end. I'm gonna cover up that garland, I hope, anyway. So I kind of just have them trailing both towards the front because when you come in, you, you see it this way. Not too many people go around the back of the table anyway. Uh, and for those that do and don't see it the way it's supposed to be, that's it. That's. My sister-in-law was famous for that. She used to look behind everything I did, like look behind the Christmas tree, behind. So I used to put little signs back there that say, hello, how are you? Uh, anyway, so let me see. I'm going to start putting some tulips in, I think. I started with my larger tulips. I put this double pair here and then a couple there and then another one down there. And then I tried to repeat it, but not exactly on the other side, the pair 
I have three on this side and then another one down, down on that end. So next is my smaller tulips. I had two bunches of these small tulips, and I don't remember where I got them. It wasn't Dollar Tree. It might have been Dollar Zone. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. But I only had two bunches of them, which uh, accumulated to 16 individuals. So I just put these little uh, tulips in here. Okay. So this is where we're at right now. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by today to see my first um, attempt at spring 2023. Like I said, I'm winging it. Um, I didn't plan it, and uh, I hope you join me for the ride to see where I go with it this year. Um, I think this came out pretty good. I like it. It looks like a spring garden on the table, and I think I'm going to enjoy looking at it. I love color, and uh, this is a beautiful color to me. All right, everybody, take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.